Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you've seen the previous video, then you'd know I'll be doing this video is I'm going to be making like the frosting. So this can be used on any cakes. It can be used on plain cupcakes, anything you want. So I'm going to do it for the cupcakes, which I've just made. So if you haven't already seen that video, go and check it out now or after this video. I will put a link in the description to it. So it's a lot easier for you to find. So I haven't actually tried this frosting. I normally use a mixture of double cream and icing sugar for my frosting in its equal amounts so it can be any amount you want so if you're doing like a batch I would say a cup of each but it probably won't actually make that much so it is surprising how much you make but I'm just going to make it into this plastic bowl it's going to be a bit of guesswork but I will let you know the amounts after the video I'll put it up on the screen and in the description so I am going to be adding into the double cream and icing sugar mixture chocolate don't know how this will work out don't know if it will work at all um but i thought bit of an experiment give it a go and if it's nice and you can all try it as well so i made chocolate chunk muffins sort of thing which uses milk and white chocolate but i'm just going to do milk chocolate just for the time being so i will start the video now So chocolate's in there, it's not much because it's what I've got left from the baking but I don't need to make lots and lots. So I'm going to put this in the microwave, you shouldn't microwave chocolate, if you can put it on a bain marie which is boiling water underneath and then in a saucepan and then put this on top. But because it's not much I'm like it's not really worth it so I'm going to put it in the microwave and hopefully I won't burn it because this is the only chocolate I've got but I'll show you in a minute. Okay guys, so chocolate is completely melted, it took about 30 seconds and did burn it, so I'm pretty pleased with that. So next you put in, I'm going to go and get a measuring cup just so then I know I've got equal amounts of both. I am going to use half a cup measurement, so I'm going to measure the icing sugar first just because if it is the right amount and then I put, but I put the cream in first and the icing sugar is going to get stuck in the cup, but honestly it doesn't matter. Break up any big lumps, I just had one. And then you need the sieve. Sieve just goes on that one. So you just sieve it in. It will look a lot, but when you've got the cream in with it, it will like condense down. We'll go with that word, don't know what word I need. And then you need the same amount, so half a cup of double cream. So then just stir it all together. You can use an electric whisk, but I find sometimes they heat up so it actually stops the cream from whipping up properly. Even my KitchenAid does it, so so as you can see it does hold its shape so this is going to be great for the cupcakes or the muffins that I've made so that is literally the recipe so very short very snappy very sweet but I'll put the ingredients like I said down in the description it looks like chocolate ice cream don't know if you can see or like chocolate chunk ice cream but do hope you guys can try this out and any photos you've got of you trying to make the cakes or the or the frosting then tag me in them on instagram i'll put the link on the description for my instagram and i will put my name up on there so i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you next time bye it looks so yummy i cannot wait to try it